Hi, this is Ananya. Welcome to News Beats latest updates. Ukraine says mosque housing civilians shelled, airbase destroyed. Ten facts. Russia Ukraine war. Russian rocket attacks destroyed a Ukrainian airbase near the town of Vasilkiv in the Kyiv region, the city's major said. Ukraine war. Russian forces have moved closer to Ukraine capital Kyiv and are also targeting civilian areas in several other cities. Ukraine said that Russia attacked a mosque in the port city of Mariupol that was housing 80 civilians. Here are the top 10 updates on the Russia-Ukraine war. Ukraine's foreign ministry said that Russian forces shelled a mosque in Mariupol where 80 civilians were taking shelter. The mosque of Sultan Suleiman and Magnificent and his wife Roxolana Harem Sultan in Mariupol was shelled by Russian invaders. More than 80 adults and children are hiding there from the shelling, including citizens of Turkey, the Ukraine Foreign Ministry wrote on its Twitter account. Russian rocket attacks destroyed a Ukrainian air base near the town of Yasbasilkiv in the Kyiv region today. The rocket attacks also hit an ammunition depot, Vasilkiv Mayor Natalia Balasonovich said. Ukraine expects a new wave of attacks on the Kyiv, Kharkiv and Donbas regions after a slowdown in Russia's offensive. Oleksiy Aristovich, an advisor to the Ukrainian president's chief to staff, said on Saturday. The Russian forces have made advancements in southern Ukraine's Melitopol and have captured the city's mayor. A group of 10 occupiers kidnapped the mayor of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, Ukraine's parliament said on Twitter. He refused to cooperate with the enemy, it added. Three missiles hit civilians' buildings in the central city of Dnipro on Friday destroying a shoe factory and killing one security guard. Dnipro had been considered a safe haven, suffering few attacks since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24. A home for the disabled near Kharkiv was also bombed, with 330 people there are at the time. Officials said, Russia on Friday announced that the military airfields of Lutsk and ivano frankivsk in western Ukraine closer to the police border have been put out of action. With the Russian assault in its third week, President Vladimir Zelensky, who has rallied his people with a series of addresses from Kyiv, said Ukraine had already reached a strategic turning point. It is impossible to say how many days we still have ahead of us to free Ukrainian land. But we can say we will do it, he said. We are already moving towards our goal, our victory. Russia, which has accused Ukraine of developing biological weapons with US help, said that the Kyiv regime is now destroying evidence of military biological programs. It was implementing. Both Washington and Kyiv have denied the existence of laboratories intended to produce biological weapons in the country. The Kremlin has invited volunteers, including from Syria, to fight alongside Russia's military in Ukraine. Embroiling the Middle East in a conflict the West has worked to contain. More than two and a half million people have fled the senseless war in Ukraine, the UN said. More than half to Poland, the UN has confirmed the deaths of 564 civilians in Ukraine since February 24, including 41 children. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned and please subscribe our channel for such more latest updates.